one of the things that you have been calling attention to is your disappointment in Robert Mueller and the direction he took the FBI. James Comey took that baton and ran with it too. And I didn't know this, but you root it, I think, in this critical moment after 9-11, in this meeting in which you say Robert Mueller was embarrassed in a meeting he had with then President George W. Bush. Tell us. Yes. Well, if I could back up just half a second on sure, that. Sure, sure, sure. There, as everybody knows, there's a lot in the last three or four years has gone wrong with the FBI. And uh, current director Ray has pointed out that the two or three key uh, uh, miscredence of the uh, Russian collusion probe are no longer in the bureau. And then we had the terrible th- situation with the gymnast and Director Ray again points out that the two agents involved in that are no longer with us. With Larry and Nassar, they covered something, up for him. Yeah, each time something goes, yes, each time something goes wrong, they point out that the people have been fired or disciplined, which which is a, as it should be. My, my contention is they have to look at, and I I plead, I plead with them to look at what's happened. Why, why do we have this happening, continuously happening? What's happened to the culture? And in talking to a whole lot of people, including Director Mueller, who told me this himself and told many other people this, I think a lot of it goes back to uh, an unintended consequence of the reaction to September 11th. Robert Mueller became the director of the FBI uh, just about five days before the September 11th attacks, which happened on a Tuesday. That Saturday morning, uh, President George W. Bush summoned Mueller to Camp David uh, to give a report on on the FBI's investigation. Mueller went there. Now, so there were only about three and a half days between the attack and the meeting on Saturday morning at Camp David. In that three and a half days, the FBI did what it does best, investigate. And in those three and a half days, they had identified all 19 hijackers, their associates, their, their credit cards, their automobiles, where they stayed, who they associated with, their background, and their connections to al-Qaeda was coming into focus. So Robert Mueller went to Camp David with this report, expecting praise and thanks for it. And when he was done talking, President George W. Bush said to him, in effect, I don't care about that. I just want to know how you're going to stop the next one. Then about an hour later that morning, George Tennant gave a proposed plan of action going forward. The CIA. Several, yeah, then the director of the CIA, several people present said, said that President Bush said, that's great. And then turned and looked at Mueller and said to Mueller, that's what I'd like to hear. Uh, that's what I want to hear. So Mueller went back and and in Mueller's own words, he, he became bound and determined to change the culture of the FBI, and that's the word he used, and to make it into more of an intelligence agency. And a lot of us have looked at this and we said, well, maybe that's the root of the problem, because when you, you, the FBI always had a counterintelligence mission, but they behaved like a law enforcement agency. They were trained to operate within the Bill of Rights. They were trained as you are in a law enforcement agency, you look forward to the day. Everything you do is going forward to the day where you're going to stand up in front of a judge or in front of a jury and raise your right hand and pledge to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That gives you a certain, that creates a certain culture. In an intelligence agency, you deal in guesses, estimates, your best thinking at the time, And you deal in deception and deceit, and that's part of it. And a lot of us think that this change in the FBI's culture is what has allowed these problems that manifest themselves under Director Comey and since then to come about. And we just hope and pray that the FBI changes its culture, gets back to its law enforcement roots. Go back to being federal law enforcement and 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 not a wannabe domestic CIA. Correct. Very well yeah. said. It's the final days for the Christmas and holiday season sale from Genucel. Everyone, listen up. I love this company and you will too. From now through Christmas, Genucel's most 
popular package. I love this. They've idiot-proofed it. They've given you all their best stuff, everything that people love most. So if you're like, I don't know what to get. I don't know what the products are. Just get the most popular package. It's right now 70% off at genucel.com slash MK60. Treat yourself and a loved one to the absolute best skincare in the world. See those troubling forehead lines or the fine lines or the skin redness or the pesky bags and puffiness, and even a sagging jawline disappear right before your eyes with Genucel's most popular collection. With its immediate effects product, you see results in less than 12 hours, guaranteed, or you get your money back. And included in every one of their most popular packages is your free hyaluronic acid serum for skin hydration that's going to restore and rejuvenate. I think it resurfaces uh, your youthful appearance. You will feel a difference after you use this stuff. Visit genucel.com slash MK60 now. Enter my special code MK for an additional 10% off your entire order when you check out. Got the 70, got the 10, got the hyaluronic. Every order today is instantly upgraded to free express shipping, guaranteed delivery by Christmas. Don't wait. Genucel.com slash MK60. G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash MK60. This is a very thoughtful gift. Genucel.com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.